Well, Jordan Murphy, you got the gig. How are you feeling? Delighted, really honoured. Um, obviously, I was pleased at the start of the year when I took over on an interim basis, um, and I felt that it was you know a huge honour, obviously, to have that a uh, um, reward um, from the from the board and the support from the board and, and giving me the, the job on a permanent basis is a, um, is amazing. Uh, obviously, we're in a tough spot at the minute. Um, but for the board to uh, back me to, to try and get us out of that is a, um, a huge honour and, and obviously it's daunting, um, but it's something that I, I care dearly about and want to get right. For people watching, um, putting everything aside, as a former Leicester Tigers player and someone who deeply loves the club, when you got the news, when you found out, what was the feeling? What was the overriding emotion? Oh, I think, you know, it was one of just pure joy. Um, you know, obviously, as I said a few times before, it, it, it's a dream job. Um, you know, I think people who've played in the shirt and, and people who've been around, it, um, they, they realise how special the place is. They realise how, how people care and, and ex-players care and, and the amount of support that I've received both in, you know, person and text and letters and emails from ex-players, from supporters has been, just been overwhelming. Um, I know that, you know, quite a few people are frustrated um, with not winning, but I think people have been a, uh, genuinely brilliant with the, with the reaction to, to me getting the job. So, um, yeah, I, I'm massively honoured. When you look at the last few months, it's obviously been very difficult for everyone, supporters, players, coaches, everyone. Um, what would be your message, what would be the words you'd say to those out there at this point now, knowing that there's some stability with yourself, you're starting to look into lock into coaches, etc.? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously the results haven't gone our way over the last eight games. Um, you know, I think that the three games in the Cup, you know, totally on my shoulders. I picked young teams and, and we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Saracen Sale. Um, we came up short against Worcester, but you know, again, lots of positives for, for young guys in those three games. Um, and then we had a really tough block where we didn't perform well in November against a, uh, Saracens in Gloucester, but we were missing quite a lot of players. You know, we had a huge amount of guys came back for the Bristol game, and we just probably had our worst performance of the year. And um, we went to Racing and, and had a, you know lots of positives, and we pushed them, got a bonus point, and, and we came back, and probably the, the emotional toll of, of the roller coaster took 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 its uh, uh, toll on us, and and. Um, Although those, you know, hugely disappointing to be on this run, I do see positives in our game. I do see things that we can work on and that we can build on, and, and hopefully that that's what we can start to do from here on in. Having played with some of the guys you're now the head coach of, is that a is that a nicety for you to know that you know their games well and you have their trust and and you can trust them, etc. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I think trust is a massive thing. Um, we've got some world class players in our squad. We've got some great players. We've got some great players coming through. Um, you know, at at the moment we're underachieving. I believe. Um, I think that we can definitely improve. We can definitely work on the things that are a, uh, have been detrimental in our game and we can get better in a lot of areas, and we need to. Um, you know, I think Tigers fans expect us to win every week. I think the nature of the competitions that we're in now and the nature of, of, of the league is that it's, it's been designed to, to be, make it a much more even playing field. And you're seeing that in the middle of the league at the minute. You know, teams are knocking each other on a week, weekly basis, you know, probably with the exception of Exeter and Saracens. Um, teams are... It's very, very tight in the middle of that league and, and you know, two or three wins can, can have you at the other end of the table. So from that point of view, it's, uh, it's really important that, that you know, we keep, keep working very hard for each other, keep the faith and, and uh, yeah, hopefully results will come. You've talked a lot about working hard for each other, uh, intent, integrity. Can you explain to people what Leicester Tigers teams to you look like, what your Leicester Tigers team will look like? Oh, I've been here a very, very long time and I think Tigers teams have kind of developed and, and, and they... Uh, They've, they've rotated through. I think before I arrived, you know, Tigers were probably always known as having a, a world-class backline, and then late '90s it became a, a really dominant forwards pack, which which kind of carried us through to success in in Europe. Uh, and then at times, you know, that swung back again with some adventurous and you know uh, exciting backs. And, and I think the dynamic of, of what Tigers looks like always changes. But I think one of the, the consistent traits in, in successful Tigers teams is that they were hugely passionate. You know, they wore their hearts on their sleeve. They, they went out and, and they showed what it meant to be a, a Leicester's Leicester Tigers player. So from that point of view, I think that's key in, in all of our performances. Finally, on to Harlequins, your first game in the official role. Uh, what can people expect this week from the lads? Oh, it's it's going to be a massive game. You know, Harlequins are a quality side. You know, they beat Exeter a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they have been you know building for for a little while now. Their addition of Paul Gustard, my old housemate, uh, at the start of the season has has really shored them up defensively. Um, they're a physical unit. Um, I, I think it's it's going to be a, a very difficult game. Uh, but from our boys, you know, we want to go out. We want to focus on the things that we can do well, and we want to take the game to to Harlequins. Thank you, sir. Thank you.